Hello viewers, welcome to Daily Politics. On this program, we discuss issues around politics, policy and governance. I'm Hamza Idris. A federal high court in Abuja has voided the February 7 list of delegates submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, by the All Progressive Congress in Kogi State for its forthcoming governorship primary election. Justice James Omoto Show, in a judgment on Wednesday, held that there was no evidence before the court to show that valid special world congresses were held from which the said delegates emerged. Justice Omoto Show also noted that the party failed to provide credible evidence that INEC monitored the said congresses and from which the names of the said delegates list were derived. The judge who restrained INEC from accepting and acting on the said delegate list said the ABC in Kogite still has an opportunity with the existing time frame to conduct valid special world congresses to elect delegates who will elect the party's candidate for the governorship election. Also, the ruling APC and the Independent National Electoral Commission have urged the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal to dismiss the case brought by the Labour Party and its candidate, Peter Obi. In separate responses to Obi's petition, APC and INEC asked the court to deny all the relief sought by Obi and Labour Party, stating that the petition is groundless and lacks merit. Obi and Labour Party want the election petition to nullify the election of Senator Bola Ahmed Tunubu as president-elect and his running mate Kashin Shetima, alleged rigging in 11 states and violations of electoral regulations by INEC. The APC and INEC argued that Obi's petition was defective, lacked specificity, and was hypothetical, making it ungrantable. On the program tonight, we are joined by a chieftain of the APC ambassador, Musa Mohamed Soken. He was the coordinator of the Presidential Campaign Council, Taraba State Directorate of Northeast Grassroots Engagement and Orientation. He is also the president, APC Initiative for Good Governance. We are also joined by Kendi Amodu, our in-house analyst here at Trust TV. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Thank you yeah. very much. Okay. Yes, we'll go on a quick break, and when we return, the conversation commences. Stay with us. Welcome back. Ambassador, mm, yeah. you have seen our tidbit yeah. at the court today that, that Justice Omoto Show said APC did not have delegates for the primaries because they did not conduct valid, you know, delegate conference of sorts at the world, local government, and then at the state level. Why, why is your party behaving like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let me start on a milder note. <laughs> well, you know, this is party politics. Mm. And we are guided by rules and regulations. We have the constitution, which is there to guide us. And uh, as human, we are not uh, infallible. Okay. So there must be, you know, one error here or there arising maybe out of, uh, you know, in-house mm. uh, argument and, and, so, uh, and all that. Mm. But uh, the court of law is there. And observation of the court of law is a guide mm. so we don't have we don't have any problem with that okay yeah yeah no no complaint no complaint okay I, I know you will speak like a reporter <laughs> yes on this you can see now just few days to the primaries and here we are a judge said that apc doesn't have delegates for the for the primaries why do you think parties are behaving like this is this out of desperation for some people to have their way or there are other reasons? I think it's because um, basically they get away with it. Uh -huh. And so if there are not, uh, if there are no checks, mm. thankfully there are checks. So if you try and there's a check, then you try again. Then don't, don't also forget that in circumstances like this, uh, various groups come to an agreement yes and say this is our agreement mm. 
Then in the final analysis, despite the fact that they agreed that, oh, this, we will all abide by this agreement, mm. some people will still be unhappy with the choices yes. that that ag agreement brought out. Yes. And so they will go to court. Mm. So it's one of two ways. Mm. So why we say, okay, why do politicians behave like this? It's not... It's not abnormal. -sided. It's, and it's not abnormal. It's the normal <laughs> political process everywhere. Yeah. Mm. And uh, in Kogi, you are a national person, Ambassador, mm. uh, even though from Taraba State. Mm. But Taraba, Kogi, <laughs> the same, uh, uh, this thing. Mm. APC. Yeah. I mean, having issues. When you say when national, you, you cover Exactly. All. <laughs> now, what I'm trying to say yeah. is that uh, we, we hosted Senator Smart Adeyemi a few days ago here. <laughs> and other chieftains of um, APC at different times from Kogi State. This fear, you know, they have been nursing this fear mm. that the governor, Yahya Bello, is actually an interested party. And legitimately, of course, he should be an interested party. Mm. But uh, what I gathered, which you didn't say and Ken did not also say, is that the list was populated by civil servants to go and elect the 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 the, the, gub uh, the gubernatorial candidate of the APC. Why do you think a governor should do this instead of allowing party faithful to actually select the right people to go for the delegate conference? Well, if you say civil servants, I, I think civil servants also have the mandates now to participate fully. <laughs> okay, the politics. <laughs> You're still ambassador. <laughs> no, but, 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 but. Anyway, let's hear you. But, 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 but this, the distinguished senator was also a civil servant when he joined politics. Okay. Was he not? I hope you will not connive and box me to, in a corner. Okay, yeah, I, 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 yes. I, I'm with you, uh, ambassador. Yeah. So he still within the tenets of the law. If, he, if, if that happens to be, yeah. you say that, I don't know. Yeah, I Actually, said it. Yeah, yeah. I said it. And yeah. I had it. And I'm cutting you. <laughs> yes, you are cutting me. But the politicians, this is what they said. And I think it is out of that grievance that some, you know, went to Abuja. They didn't even bother to go to high court in, in Lokoja. They came to Abuja and they put INEC in, in copy mm. that they are also an interested party. So, can they... How should party handle their primaries? Because I'm saying this with Zamfara in my mind in 2019. Because when Zamfara had issues like this, at the end of the day, after the main election, they ended up giving everything to PDP on a platter. Mm. Parties should understand that um, in the final analysis, the party loses mm. if you forced choices on other people yes and majority of the people are, are unhappy about it yes i'll give you that um that example of zanfara in 2019 yes because i was actually in guso oh. on the very eve of the elections when the president came to do the campaigns okay he came to do the campaigns and Buhari. they couldn't yeah. reach an agreement even with the president there and so what the president told them at the meeting, mm. he called the traditional rulers and said, look, I will not raise up anybody's hands. I will not raise up anybody's hand. Because mm. you, you have, up to this point, you, if, you didn't get if it right. up to this point you have not reached an agreement, then I will not raise anybody's hand up as the, the candidate, candidate of our party. And it, and it was wise in doing that because just, I think, 24 hours to the election, mm. court ruled that no candidates entirely. Oh and so God. that is how APC lost. Yeah, and when they, when they went to the election, you know, they won from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. the Supreme Court said they don't have they don't valid have nominated, nominated candidates. Mm -hmm. So, um, Honorable, you people are lucky mm -hmm. because Justice Omoto Show said you still have a window yeah. uh, to go back to the drawing board, mm -hmm. do the uh, delegate conference mm -hmm. at the world level, then go to the local government, do it, and then go to the state and do it. What advice do you have for your comrades in Koji? Well, that is uh, to our advantage. Because okay. if this uh, have been left to, you know... To elapse, to, the window to, yeah. 
And at the end of the election, a similar thing that happens in Zamfara. Yeah. I mean, is, there, is it Zamfara? Yes, Zamfara, yeah, yes. The, the similar case could have maybe occur. Yeah, there will yeah. be a repeat. So, in fact, we are very okay with this. And uh, this is a kind of in-house, uh, you know, glitches mm. to which we think uh, by now they should be taking steps mm. to redress all these issues so that when they go to the poll, they will go in unison yes. so that the victory we so desire mm. will achieve it at the end of the day. Exactly, mm, yeah. exactly. Mm. Yes, fi finally on, on Kogi, what is your take? How do you think the governor should behave now? Because I know that the interest is because allegedly that the governor wants the, 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 the ticket to remain in Kogi Central, while people from Kogi West are actually calling for power shift, saying that um, they should have it after more than 30 years. They have never produced a governor. And before now, the governor's body language was that he was a bit amenable to that clamor from Kogi West. I think um, it's give or take. Mm. You remember that the, in Zanfara, let me go back to Zanfara, the, the, all, all the way up to the final day, it was between Senator Marafa yes. and, and the former the, governor. Yari. Yari. Yes, Abdelaziz, yes. And, you know, a senator too, a senator too, Yari, mm. did not budge. Yeah. Marafa refused to budge. They, they refused to shift ground. And so in the final analysis, because the two leading characters... The masquerades. ...refused to shift mm. ground... Mm. They lost. Mm. You understand? So the, the, the governor should understand that ahead of the elections, he has, a, he has an opportunity to bring APC back into governance. And what that needs is for him to also shift ground yes. and come to the negotiation team table. Because if you come to um, these elections with the mindset that I have the resources, I have the security, mm. which is what he's thinking. Yes. In the final analysis, the, the other party too, the other... Some will, will rather spoil the beans. Will, oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. Will do what uh, is normal, is very, is very popular now. Anti-party. Yeah, anti-party. And once they do that, I think they, they will give that. room to mm. other parties. Yeah, because yeah. we have quite a vibrant political mm. parties now yeah. in almost all the states, yeah. including um, mm. Kogi. Uh, Ambassador, <laughs> I'm tempted because I'm much interested in Kogi. It's an yeah. off-season yeah. election which mm. we are going to have. Um, is it that politicians forget history in a hurry? Mm. Because uh, this time, four years back, it wasn't Yahya Bello who was uh, on the ballot. It was mm. uh, Prince Abu Bakar Aoudou. Mm. Up till the last, this, in fact, the election, votes were cast, right? Yes. Then uh, suddenly God took mm. Prince Abu Bakar Aoudou. It wouldn't have been um, Yahya yeah, Bello now. So mm. how do you think politicians should be behaving, irrespective mm. of party leanings? Mm. I'm now just seeking your listening. Because today, mm. I heard that uh, in Bayel's side, PDP, they have already produced their... Uh, candidates mm. just waiting for the DJ to go mm. to the polls. Well, this is a general, uh, you know, issue in politics, mm. to which I think politicians should have a kind of rethink. Mm. They should rejig the system mm. so that we, at all times there will be no cocks mm. in the wheel of uh, politicking. Mm. Where, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he choose will be coming from left and right and uh, the center cannot hold. Yeah. So uh, a kind of in-house uh, negotiation yes. should be done strongly mm. in order to have a consensus and unanimous agreement. Yes. So oh. that uh, if the, a candidate is produced, mm. everybody no should rally problem. around him and exactly. get it right. Exactly. Yes. Instead of, mm. even after the emergence of a candidate, candidate, you see some people, you know, becoming disgruntled, yeah. doing antipathy, as yeah, Mr. Yeah. Kende said, and then at the end of the day, the other political party mm. take the, the glory. Yeah. Okay, moving to other issues. You know, it's like uh, fireworks have moved now to uh, election petition tribunal, yes. uh, both at the state and national, national level. level. But let's start with the uh, national level. Today, you've seen 
uh, the story is all over. Mm -hmm. INEC saying that um, the presidential election should dismiss the petition by both PDPs, Atiku, and OB's mm -hmm. Labour Party. What is your take on that? It's not surprising because what is being challenged, aside from um, the APC president elect's claim to having won the election, is the integrity of the Independent National Electoral Commission. So you don't expect that INEC will fold its hands okay. and expect that its reputation mm. will be rubbished. And honestly, I think its reputation is at yeah. stake. It, it, the it, reputation is at stake. Mm. That's why, um, um, you know, people have argued yeah. that in cases like this, you understand, INEC should stand independent and not be joined as a party. Yeah. You know, I think Odisa Agwakoba said that that is why all along, um, since 1999, yeah. no presidential, no um, election mm. conducted by the Independent National, uh, uh, Independent National Electoral Commission INEC. has been upturned because you are basically asking INEC that has all the figures, that has all the statistics, valid. Mm -hmm. Because any other statistics outside that, that which outside I, the one that I has, mm. is not valid. It's not valid at all. And mm. people forget that. Mm. So even if you say you want to inspect INEX um, election material, election mm. materials, it is all it is INEX election materials, mm. and therefore it is their duty to defend those election materials. Mm. Don't don't forget that. A huge amount of taxpayers' money has also gone into that election. Mm -hmm. So the integrity of that body is at stake. And it will defend to the, to the, to the best of its power that election, whether yeah. you like it or not. Okay, Ambassador, were you shocked when um, PDP and Labour Party went to court? Or you, you expected this? Yo, you know, it's actually the norms of political dispensation. Whenever there is election, whoever is defeated feel he is not defeated. So only the loser, when the loser wins, I keep saying this <laughs> on, on this program, that it's only when the loser wins that <laughs> election will and be And the losers cannot win. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it's, it's, it's really funny, you know. Uh, yeah, because let me quote something here. Yeah. Yes, the, uh, you know, INEC, right, in its defense, mm. uh, led by... Uh, A.B. Mahmoud. They, they describe Atiku's petition as grossly incompetent, mm. vague, and an academic exercise. Says it was an abuse of court process. Mm. Uh, why will they say it is an abuse of court process when Atiku, mm. of course, on the day of um, collection, you know, his representative at um, the international conference mm. center, I'm talking about Dino Melai, he, mm. he raised objection that uh, one of the ground rules is that you will use the IRF mm. to, you know, upload mm. the election result. He said, this thing is not happening. This was a day after the, mm. the, the, the election. Mm. So, and now lawyers, because they are highly technical also, mm. he said the, that call by Atiku mm. is incompetent. Mm. How incompetent is it? Yeah, you know, when a baseless, you know, submission is made mm. before the judges, and uh, the body, as INEC, have the reputation, mm. they have the competency, mm. they have lawyers, they have people who are into it, mm. who knows it, and they will give their judgment based on what comes before them. Mm. So actually, the judgment or the position of INEC is very, very specific. Because the argument before them is baseless. You also agree it's baseless? Yes. Can you agree that it, the argument is baseless? <laughs> well, the courts, the courts have the final, um, the final uh, say, say mm. yeah. in whether it's baseless or not. Mm. But, um, you know, the processes, yes, uh, in the processes of raising the objection are not followed through. Well, because I would have expected that the PDP and the ALP, after challenging, 
those uh, challenging the process yes would have gone ahead and sat through the process and raised the objections forcing INEC because the INEC chairman had actually said there that let's complete the process then we will do the review that was yeah, which done. is uh, I, I review is allowed I a review mm -hmm. is allowed mm -hmm. so you can't after the process mm. has been concluded now go to court you know I think the the logical question to now ask is that but was the process of did you insist on the process of review okay okay now what you are trying to to, to bring forth is the shouldn't have gone to court they should have asked for they should review have which is review, the first which would have given them enough evidence that okay if they are now dissatisfied with the review yes then they can go to court based on what do you do what do you do when you go for review because what you go when you go for review you challenge INEC on the results that are coming from yes this, for instance this, INEC, INEC said um, Tinubu scored Eight million seven hundred and ninety-four thousand seven hundred and twenty-six votes to win, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it said that Atiku got six million nine hundred and eighty-four thousand five hundred and twenty, while Obi got six million one hundred and one thousand five hundred and thirty-three votes. This the, is what INEC said. That's what, I and mean. this is what is valid that's as far as INEC is concerned. According to its records, okay. first and foremost, they are talking about IRF not being used. Yes which we have determined even on this program yes is that, that it's not yes INEC may have committed itself to using IREF yeah but it was unable the, to do to start it, yeah, it was unable to and the electoral act backs INEC to use an alternative to, to use any means yeah. to announce the results there is provision for improvision yes any means yeah that is what the electoral act so Yes, the, the INEC may have made, and this is what is uh, so. INEC act was constitutional, yes, it of was. course, right? Ambassador, if, if any substance that is brought before you mm. is not substantive enough, so these two, these two parties, yeah, are they being clever by half mm. by jumping the review option? and then go into court. Is it to distract attention, or they think they will get favorable judgment? Well, not only that, even even when they have the review mm. the result of the review may not be different it could still be the same the same figures given could, by INEC. Still be the and same maybe figure. they foresee this so that is why maybe they rush to court you understand <laughs> but the evidence before the court is not substantial enough yeah. to grant them such you know prayers they are they, 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 they submit before the court yeah yeah so okay another Another issue raised by, by Atiku is that uh, it's not true that um, uh, Tinubu won in the states he claimed he has. According won. to what records? <laughs> <laughs> that is the question to ask. <laughs> what is his own source of uh, According information? to what records? Is he or be independent national electoral commission or which or, which, or which of the basis uh, or is he, <laughs> or know, or does he have does he have for instance <laughs> records from his um, agents yeah. at the various polling units evidence evidenced by you know being stamped and approved by because it, you know because these are the figures that we these are going to These are the to, figures you know and, and every every agent from yeah. every political party will agree on those results and it will be stamped and does it have that and even when he has it must have to be perus its identification have to be taken into consideration yeah. to know whether those figures produced by his agents is false or not Okay, beyond the figures, uh, let's go to Labour Party in specific terms now to take one or two of their uh, grievances. You know, Labour Party, number one, they said Tinubu was allegedly convicted <laughs> over drug issues. I'm not saying it. They are the ones who are saying it. Of course, the party, his spokesperson, they have all defended this. They say it's even time-bound, right? Mm -hmm. What is your take on that, Ambassador? You know, opposition always have what to say. Mm. This issue was presented only when Tinubu wins his election. Mm. And even prior to the election, everybody knows that 
Tinubu is more competent and he has the capacity and Nigeria believes in Tinubu. They know actually that Tinubu is going to win this election. It's not a surprise that Tinubu wins this election. This is something he has been planning for age long. Mm. He didn't come at a platter of you know gold or mm. in the one day mm. just to come and say he is going to contest for election. Just he, like he has been working for he, that. He has been working on that for long. Not just like Obi. You understand? You can imagine well, Obi too, you know. The, the he capacity is actually a man of a pedigree. He has all the, the credentials to, to, to But he to do, he don't he don't have that national coverage. He doesn't have that national coverage to have win this election. That's according to you. Yeah, but <laughs> so that's, actually, say... that's actually what you say. On, on, yeah. on, it's viable. Mm. You understand? But he's just coming up. Maybe when he, he do his, uh, you know, homework very good, in the, maybe, maybe in the next uh, other years to come, he may, may have it. But as of this time, he have to do just what uh, Tinubu do to get this mandate. Yeah, we have anything to add to what he said. Well, I will go slightly different here. Okay. Um, I believe that um, Peter will be strong a surprise on everybody. Yeah. He, he was able to, without a structure, yeah. unquote, mm. um, get as far as he did. Uh, where I would differ from his uh, positions, uh, from where his positions it is that these are issues you should have brought out before the elections to disqualify. Uh, okay, to the disqualify candidate. the candidate. You know, because um, you're coming. That is to disqualify uh, qualify the candidate if his if you he, know, yeah, yeah. if his prayers he is, are, is are genuine granted by the court yeah. and is genuine. Yes. Yeah, which is not. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, they are yeah. not genuine. Yes, according to not. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, bringing it um, um, up now is like uh, shutting the door after the horse has bolted. Ah. There is already um, a person that is president elect. Yeah, just waiting, less than 50 days, right? Less than yeah. 50 days mm. to enter. To be sworn in, yeah. To be sworn in. 29th of May. I don't see. And I've covered politics for quite a number of years now. I don't see a court upturning the elections. What, what, are your, what are your grounds? There is what you call, in the final analysis, national interest, which the courts of the Supreme, the judges of the Supreme Court would say, yes, maybe there was this, what you call it, but this, these are the issues, issues of national interest, which was, um, if you remember during the Yaradua case. Yeah. When he was sick? Uh, no, when, when, when he came in with the elections. Yeah. And Buhari challenged that yeah, case in I, court. Of, yeah, at the Supreme Court. Yeah. Yes, they said there were substantial uh, irregularities. Irregularities. Mm. But they could not upturn the election. But are we being fair to ourselves simply because of national interest? Mm. If there are issues that are German mm. to upturn an election, that we should just say, yes, Nigeria is very big, 200 and so so million no, no, no. it depends on no. the issues you you define as germane you understand yes, yes there's if there is substantial non-compliance yes with the electoral act mm. based on what you understand yes the labor no, party said the, the massive rigging in up 11 states this is one of in the eleven states. Yes, massive rigging. That oh, is okay. In the state that's that's excluding the state, the state they that won. Labour Party won. Okay, maybe and, they will come and, and answer and that. And you think they are fair on <laughs> that? That's a good question. Thank you for that. Massive rigging in eleven states. Yeah. Uh, intimidation, etc., etc. Yes. Are they saying that those kind of scenarios did not occur? Mm. Look, let me, okay. let me Ambassador, come in here. Let me come in here. <laughs> yes. If there's any election mm. that Nigeria have conducted mm. that is so credible, I want, to you. Do, I want to give kudos to INEC for their performance in this, uh, this election. Season. Okay. Because you see, can you imagine Tinubu, uh, you know, uh, losing Lagos? Yeah, it's quite unprecedented. You see, mm. and you see how many governors lose the, 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 they, they didn't make it to the Senate. the Senate. 
But but is that enough reason to say that it's, okay the election is free and fair? These are some of the obvious reasons. Okay. These are some of the obvious reasons that you can you know uh, make your uh, analysis with mm. to know that this election is actually very credible. If they are denying the fact that uh, such uh, areas where they claim the election was uh, there are a lot of irregularities there, what of their own state where they, they won? And that their state is quite okay, mm. but other state where they lose is uh, there are irregularities there, isn't it? Yeah. So you, if you can we see, we had we had a certain senator here, Mr. Mm. Kende, who came, who told us, in fact, it was Senator Hanga, that mm. beyond the figures out there that Senator uh, Tinubu lost Lagos, there are other reasons why they let Lagos, you know, go the way of Labour Party. He's from NNPP, mm -hmm. not PTP. Yes. Mm, yeah, because. Um, and what was his basis? Yeah, and he lost it because the powers that be allowed it. Mm, allegedly, yeah. No, Tinubu genuinely lost Lagos. And that's because they did not. Labor, uh, the APC was too confident about his. Food. Okay, they overrated themselves. In Lagos. Yes. They underrated the. Um, feeling of um how do i people anger okay. among the people ah they underrated the underrated anger underrated the anger okay and then overrated the their confidence performance. the performance people didn't people in their traditional strongholds yes you know it's like saying oh this person will go and vote yeah let me sit down home. they just that this is our this is our son this so is obviously they, this are, they are you our understand people. yeah and so you know, if you look at the difference during the governorship elections, mm. discounting the so-called intimidation, etc. Yeah. You understand? You will see that... Water separation and all that. You understand? You will see that the APC actually went back to do its homework and ensure... Is it to rig or the, the, the really no, work to hard? to mobilize. Ambassador, you didn't you didn't rig when you uh, came for the governorship election because he said uh, you people overrated yourself, especially in your strongholds. Mm. And I can see even in Borno, mm. for the first time mm. during presidential election, mm. you know, the candidate could not even make the three hundred uh, benchmark before one million nine hundred thousand and all that. But this time around, less than three hundred votes. That is why I tell you this election is the most credible election Nigeria have ever recorded. Okay. Going by the premises mm. of what occurred mm. in the election, you can see the figures is contrary to what used to be. Mm. So that is to tell you genuinely this that way election we have had an is election very, very this time around. credible. Yes. It's election to believe on. And uh, boy, going by the issue of uh, Lagos State, I think that is where the scholar called Ted Gore mm. uh, comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, just like my colleague here Mr. said, Kane, it, uh, yes. the issue of anger, mm. depression, and deprivation, and things like that may actually lead to uh, things like that. Things like that. Mm. But at the same time, what actually took place in Lagos mm. is very, very amazing. Because of some things I would do, I wouldn't like to mention. You mentioned them. We are giving you the platform. Uh, you know, it was provided it was they are not, the they basis, will not attract legal. It was sanction. on the basis of, uh, you know, religion, mm. accrued, apart from other substances. Okay. You see, issue of religion come into in, to, even in Lagos. In fact, is it this, that the Christian Yoruba did not vote for Tinubu? I'm telling or, you, or, but if, prior to the election, mm. I met with one Yoruba woman. Mm. She told me that they must make sure that Tinibu didn't get Lagos. But then, it's not on the same premises. Yeah. Because I believe, my belief is that Tinibu just let issues go. But you, then... You don't want to be volatile. In fact, if other things will be, you know... Considered. Uh, uh, considered, Tinibu will, will actually won Lagos. <laughs> You okay. understand? Kende, you, you heard what he said. Should I allow him to answer what happened in Taraba? And, um, yes, Borno, Yobe, of course, 
you escape by the whiskers mm. in Borno, but in your way, PDP defeated mm. uh, uh, APC, right? In your way? Yes. PDP defeated uh, APC for How the first time. How do you about that? <laughs> well, the few goes are there, honorable. But uh, in, in Taraba, you are the, uh, one of the campaign coordinators mm. there. Mm. Yes. What, what happened? Because we are trying to see how it is going to end at the presidential election tribunal. That's mm -hmm. why I want to have the, the impulse in, mm -hmm. in, in your state. Yeah. You think if they bring the figures from Taraba, mm -hmm. they will show what actually happened? The figures are clear in favor of Tinubu? You will answer this, I think, maybe yeah. when we return from <laughs> break. Yeah, <laughs> viewers, please don't go away. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back. If you are just joining, you are watching Daily Politics on Trust TV. Do want to follow us across all our social platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and watch us live on YouTube. I still have in the studio Ambassador Musa Mohamed Soken, Presidential Campaign Council Coordinator, Tarabase Director of North East Grassroots Engagement and Orientation. And you are also the APC, uh, President of APC Initiative for Good Governance. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Kende. Amadou, our in-house <laughs> analyst, welcome back. Yes, Thank I you. asked him a question, which sound top? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Will you depend your figures at the uh, election petition tribunal uh, mm. for the presidential? The figures that were given to Tinubu and Shetima mm. from the Northeast. Mm. Actually, I want to assure you that uh, to me, if I will use other, uh, you know, uh, if, I, if I'm going to use other apparatus, yes, I will tell you that uh, the figure is even above that. Ah. Yes. Based on your tally. Yeah. Maybe the tallies you use. Uh, of course. Maybe they cancel them uh, during collation? Uh, or, or, of or? course, definitely. There are places where elections are actually cancelled. And uh, these places are APC strong uh, you know, areas. Yeah. But uh, we don't have any issue with that for now. Yeah. Because we have already made the order of the day. Mm. So we don't have problem with that. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay in the, you see, both APC, I mean, uh, Labour Party and PDP, you know, they cited um, this section that, that there are two conditions to determine a winner. Right? They said um, a presidential candidate must secure the highest number of votes cast at the election. And then he or she must secure no less than 25% of votes cast in at least two thirds of all the states of the federation and the FCT. Is it FCT inclusive or and the FCT? Because Labour Party specifically, they say he didn't win the FCT. And based on that, they shall uptown the result. Are they really turning the laws upside down? They are being clever by half. How? <laughs> they are being clever by <laughs> How? How? The FCT. Yes. You understand? Yes. When, when, when the drafters, and right up till now, yeah. when the um, government is going to do, um, is going to award contracts that will cut across states, you hear them say the 36 states yes. and the FCT. Yes. The understanding is that FCT is a state. It's not. It's a territory. Okay. It's not a state. With it's a state territory. status or what? Uh, it's a territory. And the president is supposed to govern the FCT. Yeah. With the assistance of the minister but, or, but or a now, mayor, as the case may be. But, but, but he now devolves his power yeah. to the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, who is an appointee. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So the Federal Capital Territory is a territory. It's clearly mentioned. Territory. Clearly mentioned is a territory. Mm. It's so not a state. It's not removed. So if you want, if you win two thirds mm. in thirty-six states, yes. The idea 
is that the Federal Capital Territory is included. It's not taken out. Even though he even won more than, tw in more than 25 states, yeah. right? Yes. Almost 28 or 29. Oh, 28 yeah, 29. states. He won in 29. So if he won, if he won two thirds, yeah. you understand, in 28 states, yeah. Yeah. then you say he will not be declared winner because he didn't win two thirds in FCT. It's just being clever by half. Are you on the same page with what Ken yes, said? actually. Hmm? So you think hmm. th that um, prayer will not be granted at by all. the... At all. Not. at all. It will not. It, it, it really ground. doesn't make sense. It's all substantial. You understand? Hmm. It's, it's, it's what politicians do. Everybody looks for technicalities. Okay, on the other side, of course, um, APC, they said Labour Party candidate did not even qualify. They cited mm. some sections of the Electoral Act that mm. has to do with uh, registration. Yeah. That ahead of primaries, you know, one month to the primary, I think subsection three, one ahead of the primary, one month to, to the primaries, you have to submit all the soft copy and the hard copy mm -hmm. of the register that has the names of all your members, members. and all that. And Peter Obi is all on that. Is this, do you think this is not pedestrian? Prayer by your party at all to disqualify a, a, a presidential no, candidate. No, it's very glaring clear. The constitution is there. Yeah. Unless if you are quoting something outside the constitution. Yeah. At that you you will uh, you will say it's invalid or what they actually said is wrong. Yeah. But then they are quoting within the you know circumference of mm. the law. Mm. Then what what is wrong there? Yeah. yeah. So actually they are going by the law. Mm. So actually, Obi has to be dismissed. The case. In the case. Mr. Tayo, <laughs> that prayer by APC on um, party membership of uh, Peter Obi. Is, um, everybody's taking points and scoring scores. These are just technicalities. OK. You understand? OK, you bring your technicality. I bring mine. Mm, the one that <laughs> so, carries more weight. <laughs> so let's let the court decide which technicality mm. carries more weight. But you know, you know, if you do say that, mm. then you go back to the argument of placeholder. Okay, like uh, this, um, the, the Masari from Katsina who held the card for uh -huh. uh, for Tidu, yeah, So these are uh, the, ahead of uh, picking the, Kashim Shetima. Kashim so. These are also technicalities that politicians look at and try to, you know, people also try to use that. Mm. And it was thrown out of court. Yes. Do you understand? Mm. So I don't think that based on that, you understand, I would think it would be double standard if you throw uh, the Peter, or, issue. Peter will be out of the race. But you based see, on that technicality. Th there are difference. Okay. Those ones, they are actually party members. Okay. You understand? Mm. But in this case, he come from another, a different party. Okay. You understand? So yes. it's not the same. No, but the, 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 the idea is the time frame, isn't it? Yes, the time frame. You're talking it's about 30 days. But all of them, they are, still, they are members of the party. There's no dispute about uh, that. it appears that you, the politicians, are, you really love technicalities because it's, it's like um, uh, <laughs> most of the cases these days they are won based on technical grounds not on merit and all that when are we going to solve this problem so that a court will start um, addressing cases based on their merit rather than technicalities would you like to see that or oh, you want the technicality something well that is what i say earlier on in this program mm. i say the we the politician have to rethink and mm. rejig the system okay so that uh, everything will go on smoothly. Yeah, instead of uh, making reference to yeah, courts yeah. all the time. You see, you, 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 you brought an issue of Koji State. Yes. Which we actually agree that uh, it was due to some internal, you know, crisis. Mm. In the party. In the party. Yes, just the way internal crisis cost you Tarawa. In Tarawa State. Let, let's yeah. go there briefly before mm. the, the, the program ends. Yeah. yeah. Are you still going to court in Taraba to challenge the victory of uh, PDP? Well, you see, in that, the honors here is, uh, the, 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 the candidates there mm, mm. and the party. Yeah. So they, are, they want to determine whether they to will go, go to, to court. court or let but it you go. But you think there are grounds to go to court in Taraba for the gubernatorial election? There are grounds? And to that, mm. I'm telling you that 
that is left in the hands of the party. But are you and aware the there, there, there were as well. um, anti-party activities that actually affected your fortune? Yes, of course. I, I agree with that because the process of the primaries, mm. there are a lot of uh, arguments, a yes. lot of tussles mm. that I said from the beginning that these tussles must have to be settled before we go to the polls. Yeah. But that was not, you know, taken into, uh, you know, into uh, cognizance. Uh, cognizance. You see? So a house divided within itself cannot it's about stand. To fail. Yeah. Okay, there you so can see. Say, I'm trying to uh, draw a nexus between mm -hmm. Taraba and, and Koji. You can see they have lost it. Mm -hmm. Now it's post election, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Some are alleging that it was actually the APC that undermined itself in Taraba, just the way APC is about undermining itself in, uh, in Kogi. How do we get it right? How should leaders of political parties approach internal issues so that they won't have problems going into election? I, I, th I think I said it earlier. There must be room for negotiation. If there are two camps, and the two ta camps are uh, determined to cancel themselves, yeah. they will not get the result that both of them want. Mm -hmm. Now, Taraba, you know, because Taraba had candidates that would unseat the PDP in that state. Wow. Even based when you look on, at the pedigree of the when candidates. When you look yeah. at the pedigree of the candidates, mm -hmm. when you look at even the performance of the PDP in Taraba state, yeah. they had everything it took to come from, you know, the opposition. the opposition, yeah, and occupy the government house. The government house, but they did not agree mm. on the candidates. I know you are an interested party in neighboring um, Adamawa, mm. and the uh, election, mm. the supplementary will, will take place mm. at the weekend. What are your expectations? Have you put have you galvanized forces between Adamawa, Tarawa, <laughs> and the other contiguous states to? To make well, we are actually, I want to assure you today that uh, Senator Benani is going to make history. Yeah. How? How is she Allah. going to make history? Because, because uh, she's oh, the people on the ground now uh, is that uh, Fintri is leading. No, that was prior to uh, uh, the coming election. You are telling us what what was. happened? Yeah, yeah. During but the, 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 I'm telling you that with the cancellation with, of with the results cancellation? and all that, the review and all that. Yeah, by the grace of God. The, she has touched virtually every word in Adamawa State. Campaigning. Campaigning and even adding value to the people of that uh, particular state. She has done, uh, done a lot to them. So, when by her capacity and by what she has done mm. to, the, to her constituents, I'm assuring you that uh, you will be surprised. Okay, the people are actually expressing fear that... Um Managing the supplementary elections in some of these states, Adamawa, okay. KB, and then even Sokoto, even though it's under mm -hmm. governorship, you have um, senatorial elections, and in other places, might be hectic for INEC. Okay. What do you think the electoral empire should do uh, ahead of the, the, the election so that they can mitigate <coughs> some of these fears? The first thing is to ensure that there is adequate security. Because the stakes are high. The stakes are high. So Very it's, high. it's legitimate, the, the, the concerns know. being raised by... Yes, him. it is legitimate, both on the side of the ruling party in these states and on the part of the oppositions that see a glimmer. Mm. You understand that, okay, victory might be, you know, at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. So the stakes are definitely higher. Mm. Um, so there should be adequate um, security. It's also an opportunity. It, uh, 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 you know, deploy troops, soldiers to uh, guide no, people? I, I'm not saying necessarily militarize. To militarize everything, the yeah. Mm. I'm saying that, you know, there, there has to be this proactiveness mm. by government and the security agencies to know that the stakes in these elections are high. Okay. And there must be adequate preparations to counter anything that might happen. Yes. Ambassador, 
this claim that based on culture and religion, mm -hmm. the, the, the pendulum will not swing in the direction of Benin. Mm -hmm. you, you see, that is the mistake people are doing. Okay. We are in a democratic system. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, uh, Section 14 yeah. of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, mm -hmm. Article 15, mm -hmm. and uh, thereabout, yeah. state clearly the issue in discrimination yeah. based on the uh, issue of gender. Mm. If we are actually in a democratic society, an egalitarian society, then this issue shouldn't arise. Mm. This woman has the competency mm. to handle that state, mm. to take it to the higher level yeah. of development, yeah. where the people will feel the impact of governance. Yeah. So we expect the people of Adamawa to actually do the right thing yes, irrespective of, of religion. We are quite or, aware. Yeah, in 30 seconds, because we have run out of time. We are very quite aware of some, uh, you know, conspiracy. Yeah, to undermine within the party. But I'm advising that they should all come together. They should know that if the party wins, Mm. is to their own advantage. All right, thank you very much, yeah. Ambassador Musa Zoke, mm. Presidential Campaign Council Coordinator, Tarabo State Directorate of Northeast Grassroots Engagement and Orientation for Community the Program. We thank you once thank again, you. and we hope to have you again. Mm. Kende Abodo, our in-house analyst, we thank you for your informed mm. perspective. Yeah. And that's a wrap on today's program. Viewers, thanks for watching, and do join us again. I'm Hamza Idris.